So I've actually programmed the game to take that balloon and take this magnetic ball and combine them together. So now it's a floating magnetic ball. So going, there's going to be puzzles designed around uh, combining objects in the world together. So if I can even have that magnetism now, of course, there's too much weight, and so it's going to fall down. That's cool. So this magnetism. If I hit play here, you'll see that it's actually loaded up a bunch of websites inside the game. So there's one website that'll actually, if I click it, it'll actually start uh, running some tests. So everything is in a separate process, so it's actually keeping performance while the frame rate is very smooth. So that'll actually fill with a bunch of lines and it will not impact the performance of this. Here's another example. This is just like a floating like interface. So if you wanted to make like a, like a holographic table and like a spaceship, you could do it with this plugin that I made. So you could easily, you could really quickly mock this up. This took like two minutes to put together and you could just drop it into your game and people can actually go right in, click on it, like a drop-down menu, like a website.